So right now you're peeling off the coating? Yeah, exactly. The final notch on the that? strippers. Yes. Yeah, if you don't take that final coating that's on the wire, so even once you once you strip back to the fiber, yeah. without pulling off that final coating, it won't make a good connection in this. Okay. So you gotta use specialty pliers to, to get that coating off because it's a real real tight tolerance to get something with the right size that'll pull that coating off. Okay. And you have those aren't reusable, eh? Uh they are to some level, but in general, I mean you're you're better off just using a new connector. You can reuse them once or twice. But. There we go. Bang on now. So we got 100% uh, signal coming through now. So likely there was a little bit of damage or a kink maybe on the line here. With fiber, I mean, this, this section of the cable is not as, nearly as fragile as the ends here. This can be wiggled around. It's not going to break. You can you know, kind of treat it more like a normal cable. But okay. if too sharp of a bend is applied to it, it can crack the fiber internally. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then it will still pass signal through, but it's kind of having to jump the mm. crack in the in the glass, basically. And that, that really limits the signal a lot. So that's probably why the signal was a little low the first time here. Right. So. All right, so I'm going to set up a splice box here. So the wire is going to run into that splice box, and then from there, there's going to be a pre-terminated cable going up to this guy. Okay. That way, that fragile part is all protected, and it's not uh, not just sitting out on your wall there. I'm good.